this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Stardew Valley. It's episode number 10! We have reached double figures already! And I will be honest, it's been a little bit of a gap between when I recorded the, the last episode and this episode, so it might take me a little bit to get into the, the swing of things at all. I really I really want money. <laughs> just, just in general. Well, no, I really want money right now. Oh, look! I'm getting loads of strawberries! Oh, look how many I'm gathering! And they're staying there! So I should be able to get more strawberries in the, the future as well. Well, that's good. And I got nine, like, special awesome strawberries. This is perfect because I have been doing a little bit of research and I have found out that... What have I found out? Oh, bless you, Alex. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I've found out how to... Bless you, Alex. Are you allergic to strawberries? Um, yeah, I found out that the, the way to get hardwood is, I think it might be these ones, but there's giant tree stumps, and if you break them away, then, uh, basically, you will be able to, to yeah, to get the, the hardwood from them. It might be them. It might not be them, though. So, I want to find out how to, to do that, but, uh, I do know that I need a upgraded axe. So, I think, I think it might be, oh, no! I need to just, I need to just threw that away. I, t oh! <laughs> I told you it's been a little bit since I recorded the last episode and I can't even control it. I, I I must have pressed a button and moved all of my tools down here. But yeah, the reason I'm going over here is because apparently there's also a place where I can find a letter from my granddad. And a lot of people have been saying to, to go and find that quickly first. And so that's what I'm going to do. And I believe it's, it's this thing behind the back here. Someone sent me a screenshot. They didn't show where it was. But they just showed a picture and I kind of just guessed that it was down the back here and aha! I think this is it! I think I have tracked it down. So thank you all of the people that recommended that I go here. I have now gone here. <laughs> I have done what you, uh, what you said. Stampy, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. We've got to make a note of that. The dawn- I mean year one, I mean the first month of- well, first season, I guess, of year one. Okay. Oh, that, that's like a, a shrine for him down here. Okay, so it's not something that's going to to matter immediately, <laughs> I guess. But on the third year, I need to, to wait for him. Remind me to do that. <laughs> remind, because I'm there's no way I'm going to remember something for like three years time. So please remind me to, to do that because there's no way I'm going to remember otherwise. Right then, so I, I, I need... um. I need a parsnip, and no, I need a, um, I need a leek. So one of the, the other things that I'm trying to, to do at the, the moment is to, to complete the little lum, luminize, lumin, um, the dancing apples. The dancing apples. I'm trying to complete their quests uh, that I need to do. And oh, there's a leek, there's a leek. I think I can do it. I think I can do the, the spring one now. I need to, oh no, don't eat the leek. I need the leek. <laughs> oh, so it looks like if I press, um, look, yeah, it looks like if I press the... The, the like L button. I can just like skip between my like different selections of inventories. That is really useful to know actually. I did it by accident <laughs> to, to be able to, to find it out. But now I do know uh, it's going to be really handy. So I think to complete the spring one I need uh, a dandelion. I think is that a daffodil? Yeah, a daffodil. Uh, I need a parsnip. I think that might be it. I think that might be everything that I need. Ignore Alex, by the way. We just went for a really long walk. And, like, when she gets tired, she gets really restless and starts, like, just rolling around and <laughs> getting in a little bit weird. She actually had a, her first nightmare. Well, the first nightmare that I saw today. I don't know why I'm sounding all excited about this, but it was really cute. <laughs> she was just asleep and just, like, roughing and moaning and kind of rolling around and stuff. And it was, it was cute. But then she kind of woke herself up and just looked, like, in shock for about five minutes. And then she was fine. And then she was fine after that. But anyway, let's go to the, the old community center then. I think I got everything that I need. And this is the one that I really wanted to complete, the spring one. Because I'm assuming I have to do it in spring or at least all of the things that I needed to, to gather seem to be like spring things. Are we gonna do high five? High five? Alex, high five? Go and high five me. No. <laughs> She's just frozen. There we go. Now we can high five. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, <laughs> go and see if we can deliver these. So it's um yeah, I got everything we need, don't we? Parsnip. Um oh no, oh no, it's not a pop. What is that? What is that that I need? That's not a parsnip at all. It's a... Uh, I don't know what that thing is. So I, I got everything I need apart from... Well, what, what's that? What's that brown thing? I don't know what that... I mean, it's not potato, is it? 
And then this one, I got everything I need apart from that hardwood. So that's why I really wanted to, to upgrade my axe, but I don't have enough money to, to do it yet. I need to work out what that what that that brown thing is then. Have I ever seen them before? Let me go and look in the, the seed shop because we're running out of spring. We're running out of time to, to grow all of these things. So let me go and see if they're... If I, if I can work out what that is, maybe I should just grow one of everything and just hope that's what kind of ends up coming out. Alright, let's go and speak to old Pierre and see what we have. So parsnip, I guess I might be able to tell by the pictures. There's nothing that looks like them though, is there? Uh, I mean, peach, I mean, they, these don't even seem like particularly springy things, if that, <laughs> if that makes sense. Hmm, quite peculiar. I might just grow, I might just grab some potato seeds just to, to go and start these growing as well. It's just going to be a useful thing to, to do. I'm going to have to work out what that thing is. Another thing that a lot of people have been recommending to me is to, um, is to store at least one of everything. Because there's a lot of missions that you'll get and they'll say, you know, bring me this thing. And you might have had the thing, but you'd only just sold it or something. So what I think I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to make a, a special chest where I just, I'm going to try and keep like one of every item or every kind of seemingly useful item. So every like type of food or, you know, vegetable or whatever it is, just I can have one of everything. And then that way, uh, if ever it comes up that I need to, to get a particular thing, hopefully there's a good chance that I'm going to, to have it already. So let's Let's go and make myself another chest. I love the I love these menus. I love how quickly you can get through them now. Now, now I know what it is. I'm kind of doing it a little bit. I guess I could go and plant my potato seeds. Do I have enough room? I don't think I have enough room. Like it's probably about time I extend I extended this farm as well, to be honest, because this has been this is like way too small of a farm and has been for for the longest time. And that that is actually something else that a lot of people have been suggesting to me, like make your farm bigger. Why have you made your farm so small? And I know I should have. I should have. This was always only going to be my little temporary farm for for now. So let's just for now just start extending out here. I'm not going to worry about fencing it all off again yet, just because I know that I'm going to to be kind of um you know, continually just extending it anyway. And I don't know how long it's going to end up being extended to eventually. So uh, yeah, let's go and let's go and start storing things in here. So I need just one of the, the down, I guess I can put a few in. Let's just go and put a, a bunch of this stuff in. I will keep them on me. Let's go and throw the, the rest of this wood away in here. Then I might see, um I might see what else I can craft as well. Because it's been a, a while since I was crafting. Oh, I know how to put clothes on. By the way, I was really struggling to put shoes on. <laughs> it was actually Squishy that showed me because uh, she is playing this game as well. And she put shoes on and showed me how easy it is. So I got sneakers, which is one defense. And then I got leather boots, which is defense and immunity. So leather boots seem to be the winner. They might not be quite as fashionable, but they <laughs> seem to be a bit more useful. So basically, I just need to, to drag it onto me. I guess kind of like the, the way you do it in Minecraft and just go and uh, put that. Yeah, put that down there like that. And now that's going to make me look very nice with my leather boots and defend me a little bit more. So what's new to craft? I could do a beehive. I need maple syrup and iron bars for that. So maybe not quite yet. A mayonnaise machine. Oh, I could do that. I could make that. I mean, I haven't got any eggs because I don't have a, a coop yet. But, I mean, we might as well get things started because it's just a fun thing to make. So I need wood stone and earth crystal and uh, and a copper bar. Do I have any earth crystal? crystals in here. I kind of sell them all straight away. So may maybe I should go and and head down to the, the mine for it a little bit then, just to, to get some earth crystals. And then I could maybe make a mayonnaise machine. I found one of those things! I found one of the things! Look! What is it? What is it? It's a wild horseradish. I swear, I don't think I've ever seen a wild horseradish before. I don't, like in, in, <laughs> in Stardew Valley, I'm not just super excited about the concept of wild horseradishes. But yeah, I think I just found one just lying around down there. And oh, that's perfect. Well, seeing as I've, I've just trekked all the way to the, the mine, we might as well go here and see if I can um, and grab one of those earth crystals from, from down here. Oh it's, like a, oh, it's like a super one as well. It's a super like horseradish as well. And sorry, as I said, it's been a little while since I, <laughs> I played the game last. Like I've been trying to be good with this game and not record too far ahead, which is what I normally end up doing. Um, I've been trying to, to kind of record as I go so then I can get your advice. But it's just so much fun. It's just so hard to, to not just carry on playing. I mean, if you're playing this game yourself, and I know a lot of the, the people watching this, you know, are playing as well as just watching, you understand what it's like. It's it's not an easy game to, to be able to, to put down. It seems extra dark in the mine today. Is that just me? Is it just like extra dark and like difficult to, to see anything? Well, I'm, I'm collecting up a lot of bug meat, but that's uh, <laughs> that's not really what I came down here for. Copper ore is always useful. The thing is, like, you need copper ore to make the stuff, 
but you also need money and I always need money more than I do copper ore but now I've kind of extended out the farm a bit more like once I've bought just a few of the the key upgrades uh, uh, upgrades I'm just going to go crazy 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 with seeds and then just have loads and loads of new things growing and then I'm going to have like one massive harvest I think that's what I'm going to I'm going to try and save up a bunch of money before it turns to summer and then the second it turns to summer I'm just going to grow loads of stuff and then, and then I think we're really going to, to get the, the ball rolling. So I think that's one of the, one of the, the many places where I've been kind of falling short uh, a little bit, uh, is the fact that I haven't been just growing enough stuff. I'm trying to work out how to keep going down, but I can't, I can't find the, the ladder. So it's normally just kind of under one of the, the stones that you break away. Oh, was that it here? Nope, just a, a tough stone. Also, apparently... Uh, this is this is how you kind of get coal. Oh, hello, 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 hello. My leather boots are not helping me with this little slime that was <laughs> waiting to, to ambush me there. But yeah, apparently one of the best ways to get coal is just breaking away stones in the mine. Just sometimes give you coal. That's kind of what it says, but I've not been getting very lucky with that. So um, yeah, may maybe when you have a better pickaxe, you've got a better chance of getting coal. Maybe that's the, the way it works. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, I, I guess we're going to kind of find out gradually. I'm just after one of those earth crystals and they're, they're not normally like super duper rare or anything, but I haven't been very lucky finding it. I think this is about as deep as I've gone into the mine, by the way. It's a, a pretty dangerous area, this here. There's like a, lot, a bunch of the, the enemies that like attack you from under the ground. We've got these flying bugs, of course, slimes all over the place, just as, uh, <laughs> as there always are. So let's see if we can quite quickly find the next ladder and make our way down to the, the next level. I mean, it'd be great to get to like the whole complete next level of the, the elevator. My my main goal, I guess, for the mine is to reach level um, level 40, I think it is. That is uh, is where I need to, to try and get to. So that's kind of my my big overall goal. Like, I am <laughs> a long way from that at the, the moment, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. So as long as I can get to, to, to where the... Um, to where I can find an earth crystal or something, that will do fine for me. So let me, especially as it's getting late and I'm starting to run out of energy, let me just try and avoid most enemies for for now. And then I can try and get to the earth crystal. Actually, we're nearly on level 15 at the, the moment. So uh, it'd be great to, to get to that because I think that might be the, the next elevator level. Let's go and grab this uh, this quartz first if we can. And there we go. So level 15. Is this going to have a, an elevator? It is. Okay, this is good. So I think we've kind of marked the the next depth in the uh, in the mine that we can just travel immediately to and not have to to kind of go through all of the the other levels. I'm just waiting to to find some better ores because I really haven't found much better than than kind of copper ore in my my whole journeys going down here. But ah, we found the earth crystal. There we go. That's the the main thing that we were we were after. So we can go and make the 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 mayonnaise machine. Of course, I need to get a chicken coop. And Robin has been going on about me about that chicken coop forever, and I've just been. <laughs> really slow and just haven't had a chance to, to get around to, to do it yet and leave me alone I'm mining these annoying little bugs these ones are much more difficult because they kind of like spin around at fly and fly at you from different directions whereas slimes kind of just aimlessly bounce towards you and <laughs> are, are much easier to, to hit and avoid being hit and what did I get there I got oh, some topaz from that that's got to be worth a lot I think I'm just going to sell I know I could probably keep it and use it for something else but I think I'm just going to sell that topaz straight away no hello are you, you going to attack me? You are? What are these things? I wonder what these guys drop. Uh, let's see if we can uh, take out some of them. I know it looks like I might be able to see some coal down here. Is that, is that, can I, can I gather any of that up? I don't think I can. I think that might just be like in the background here. Can I gather that up? Nope. I can't gather any of that up. I think I should probably head back now. I'm getting pretty tired. And oh, I got, I got a cave carrot. <laughs> I'm glad I carried on going a little bit. But yeah, there's a few too many enemies and I like the, the idea of tackling. And I really need to get just, I guess, better armor and then some better weapons as well. So let's let's get out of here for, for now. Let's head out of the, the mine. And what we do is I'll go back to bed. Uh, I'll wake up in the next morning and I'll probably just get the, the watering done. Just get that out of the way, assuming it's not raining. And then I'm going to go and try and complete the um, the, the spring quest with the, the dancing apples. Just to, uh, yeah, just to see what I'm going to get as my reward for it. I think it did say what the reward was, but I, I can never remember. Okay, I've gathered everything up. It's the next day now. Uh, quite a lot of my crops have grown as well. So they're all going to be sold. So because people told me, by the way, so many tips from you, so thank you so much. Um, <laughs> is I can sell stuff at the shop as well. So I might do some experiments to see, you know, do I get more money selling some stuff at Pierre's shop rather than just throwing it in that big box in my garden. Might be something worth doing. But anyway, Wild Horseradish. Check. You can go in there. Dandelion. Daffodil, sorry. Check. A uh, leak check and then dandelion check. Are we done it? Oh my! Oh bridge repair it says. Okay, 
Oh, is it done? Oh, so is, is that like the next level? Oh no, that's just it done. It's like we've opened the present. <laughs> and here's my reward down here. I got, whoa, spring, an assortment of wild spring seeds. 30? 30? I need to, I need to plant them straight away because it, I don't want spring to end <laughs> before they've grown. So I can't do the construction one yet because we need the, the hardwood at all. What was it doing? Oh, so there's like a whole nother tablet that's opened up over there. A whole nother scroll. Is there going to be another one opening? Oh, there's another one over there as well. Is each of them going to have loads of quests for me? I think it might. Have. Look at this little guy. He's taking it away. He's so cute. He, can I can I talk to it? No, I can just get in its way. <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. Let's look at these ones then. Ah, spread. Oh, I should have done this so much sooner. Oh, what do I need for this one? Beans, potato. Is that um cauliflower, I guess? And then a parsnip. Oh, I could do that. That's, that's, that's doable. I, th I think I think everything I've there is just great. I don't I don't know about the cauliflower. I might need to get some cauliflower seeds, but that all seems doable. And there is like a type of fertilizer you can get, which just speeds along the the whole process. Um, oh, fishing water. Oh, there's so much stuff that I can get. There's no like spring one for here. This is that's all like fishing for for that one. But the other one I could do that. So I'm gonna go and buy some more seeds anyway. I've got like 30 just like, are they just gonna be like random seeds for the, the spring? That, that's kind of what it looks uh, looks to, to be. So let's go in here and then let's buy some. I wanna buy some like speed up stuff if I can. And then I also wanna plant, yeah, some cauliflower seeds. I think I might, I think I got a couple growing anyway, but let's just like play it safe and just get a few more just for, for safety. And then there's speed grow as well. So let's just buy one of them and put that where I put down the, the cauliflower stuff I think would be, would be great. Some fertilizer? No, I'm gonna save my money. I don't have enough money for that, but I got so many seeds. I'm like spoiled for seeds. This was the perfect time as well. Cause I just decided to, to make my farm bigger. Actually, you know what, while I'm in town, let me go to the museum uh, because I was able to, to gather up some more of those. Like I got like that topaz and some other things as well. And a lot of them are, are things that I hadn't discovered before. So I should always bring them to the, the museum first and then I'll get some reward from the, the museum. And I guess the, the future ones that I get, I can either use them in some way or sell them probably is what I'll, I'll end up doing. So, all right, let's donate to the museum. We have this thing. So let's just go and it doesn't really matter. We'll plonk it down there. And then we have the, the topaz uh, as well. And then I got my, my earth crystal uh, on me uh, as well. Uh, so that's going to be handy because I can make my mayonnaise machine, which I won't be able to use because I don't have any eggs because I can't afford a coop. But y you see where I'm going now. I'm getting, I'm getting things ready. It doesn't cost me anything, which is the, <laughs> which is the, the good thing because it means that you know I'll be able to, to use it a little bit later on. I know who's there. Have I have I met this person before? I still haven't met everyone yet. Oh yeah, that's just Penny. She looks like so different from like her there compared to like the, the picture of her. No, sorry, I didn't mind anything. I'm just I'm just annoying you, I guess, a little bit <laughs> as I walk around the place. But yeah, I think there's like one more person. Yeah, there's one more person in town somewhere that I haven't met yet. But apart from that, I really just need to, to get the, the coop and then um yeah, go go down mining deeper. I just really want to upgrade some of my equipment before I go on like a, a proper, proper really big mining trip. There's also the bus that I walk past all the time and I, I've never bothered actually going on the bus. So I'm going to have to explore that. There's just, as always in this game, a million things that I could do. I know I think that's my fertilized ground down here. You see those little specks? I think that stayed fertilized from before. Uh, well, let's put down, let's put down these mixed seeds down there, shall we? Uh, we'll do these in a, in a trail uh, along here. Uh, I got my cauliflower seeds, which I can do uh, along this way. So I'm gonna have to do a, a whole load of, uh, of hoeing the, the ground and planting now to do all of these seeds. But my farm is gonna be transformed once it's done. For example, check this out. Ta-da! Doesn't that look better now? <laughs> I thought I'd just cut ahead seeing as I was just gonna plant a million uh, million seeds all over the place. So obviously it's a bit weird at the moment because there's kind of the path and then I kind of stopped the, the path <laughs> and some of it has fences around and some of it doesn't and stuff. So obviously it needs a little bit of work to, to be decorated, but it's feeling much more like it feels it's getting closer to like being like a, a field of crops rather than just like, you know, a little thing that you'd have in the, the end of like your normal garden. So I'm feeling much more like a, a proper, like I feel like a farmer rather than a gardener now, I guess. I feel like I've got a, enough things growing to, to, to kind of make that. So let me go into and water uh, all of these things just to, to make sure they're going to 
you know, hopefully grow in time. Because that's one of the big things uh, that I don't really know about in terms of when the season changes, you know, how many of the crops are going to carry on and how much is going to, to be okay. But if these grow into to anything half decent, then this would have been 100% worth doing. And I think there wasn't like a bridge fixed or something as well somewhere. So I'm going to have to, to investigate all of, the, all of that stuff as well. But for now, let's go and see if we can make that mayonnaise maker then, shall we? So... I think, oh, let, let me just see what, what I needed. So we need, for the mayonnaise machine, we need earth crystal, check. One copper bar, then just stone and wood. So let's just go and grab stone. Let's go and grab wood. And then let's go and grab one of these copper bars. And there we go. I can make it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. A mayonnaise machine. Let's just go and dump it down in my section of, <laughs> of stuff just dumped down here. And so how do we use it? So I guess I just put eggs into it. So I really need to, to get a coop. That is going to be higher up on my priority list. And oh, I got... I got 12 cauliflower seeds just sitting in here. May I, I think I didn't plant them because I thought they wouldn't finish in time. So may maybe I'll, I'll save them there until the, the next spring. I think that was past Stampy trying to, to be clever and uh, and save them. And I do actually have a few of these cobblestone and, uh, and fences here. So I guess I could go and carry on extending them. So what I think I'm going to, to do now, because it's a couple days until the... Um, the, the flower dance, which is really like the the next big thing in my, my Stardew calendar. So uh, seeing as that so much of what I'm doing is just going to be trying to get money, like to get the coop, to upgrade my axe, to do all of those things, it's really just about kind of building up more money. I'm going to spend a couple days just not recording, playing the, the game, trying to do exactly that, extending out the, the farm, doing all of the, the kind of busy work and trying to not explore or discover anything new so I can save that for the, the videos. And then I'll, I'll come back in and then we can of carry on where we left off and come straight back into the the flower dancer as well which is another big festival i guess kind of like the the egg festival but kind of supposed to be towards the end of spring rather than the the beginning so yeah that's going to be something to, to look forward to but sadly we have run out of time already in this episode time certainly does fly when you're doing a million things at the, the same time so hopefully you enjoyed this episode there'll be a link as always in the description to the next episode once it's online but for now thanks for watching and i will see you later bye